see. My last case opened in me a new fear, a real fear, a fear of myself, of what I am, and of what I've always been. All that I was is now lost. Hope, purpose, pleasure, all meaningless. I now walk in the shadows between worlds, and it is there I have finally glimpsed upon what lives in the dark corners of the earth. Robert, this had better be good. What's the beef? Sorry, Jack. We had to call. This fellow will only talk to you. Name's Victor Holt. Don't know any Victor. He's the leader of this weird cult that moved in here a few months back. Got about 20 followers. They've been causing trouble all over town. Stealing, going through folks' trash. Hanging around outside people's homes at all hours. No one ever presses charges, though. They're a screwy bunch. They've got the local scare. So tonight, we were just passing, you know, doing the normal rounds, when we heard gunshots fired from their property. Gunshots? Hang on there. No one said anything about gunshots. Who have we got out here? Eh, just me, Nichols, and a few new recruits. Well, that's just great. Lead the way, Robert. I'd better check out this crazy gang of yours. Evening, Jack. Glad you could join the freak show. How's it looking, Henry? I don't like this one bit, Jack. Check the alley on the right. Victor Holt's over there in the shadows. He's waiting for you. Can we trust him? Nope, but we've got you covered. You better take it slowly, though. They're a bit twitchy. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. Ah. We've been expecting you, Mr. Walt. I don't understand. I'm in all of these photos. All of them. There must be some kind of mistake. Why would they want me here? That must be an old case. Something I've forgotten. Some screwball with a grudge, maybe. As I continue to translate the narcotic fragments, I become more and more eager to contact my Yithian masters. These beings truly are gods to us. Their intellect and knowledge surpasses ours in ways impossible to comprehend. I know now just how insignificant mankind is in the universe. A doomed and simple species thrown up as a side effect of an experiment by the Elder Things. It is a blessing that such flawed creatures as ourselves have such a short and limited future.
been more than six years since I entered that strange house in Boston. But to me, it was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it, probably brought on by acute mental stress. I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming. According to the police report, they had searched the house for hours, only to find me later collapsed on the floor. When my eyes opened and I spoke, my colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to Arkham Asylum where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. As it became clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, I was released from the asylum's care. I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. When I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Return to normal life has been a painful process. In recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. I am beginning to remember things from that day, more than six years past, that I've told no Jack Walters. Hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. I need your help finding a missing person. I don't take that kind of job. Did you get my package? Um, uh, hold on. What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Um, it's one of my store managers, you see. Brian's his name. Brian Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I never heard of it. Uh, it's a small fishing town on the coast, not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this... What the hell? I'll be here all day anyway. Driver, how far did the stop? It's almost there. I'll drop you at the town square where it's been. Why lock the gates? Keeps out wanderers looking for work. You know what those folks like that interfering with our affairs. Is the bus from Arkham always this empty? Aye, and we prefer it that way. Not many come to Innsmouth. But what about trade? Surely the port needs business. Innsmouth has the means to look after her own. End of the line.
Could you direct me to the first national grocery store? I hear they have a shop in town. I don't know nothing about that. Oh, well, you see, I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. I'm a friend of the family. He worked in the store. Don't know who you're talking about, fella. Evening. Hi. My name's Jack Walters. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. I run this here hotel of an evening. You got any rooms? I'd not rightly know that for sure. All habits cleaning rooms at present. Them's from out of town can leave a horrid mess. <laughs> They're doing snooping around here. Get out! And what have you got there? Trying to take evidence from the scene? Hand them over! With a good wine piping, with a good wind piping, early in the Sowlands, Gallons, Miles. Ah, <laughs> my boys, these are the joys of the noble and the brave who love a life. In the tempest strife, in the home of the mountain wave. When the driving rain of the hurricane is the light of the lighthouse out, and the growling thunder sounds his gong, and the whirlwinds battle out. Who's that there? Who oh, can you spare a few pennies, young mister? I can give you something for your generosity. Who are you? Zadok, that be my name. Though too few years it now. Zadok Allen. Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just a youngin. Worked over the store. He's gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think that? Them's from out of town running a store. Taking business from the Order of Dagon. They did not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? Ye just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice, and old Zadok will fill your ears. Neatly placed. Whoever's down there, you can rock. Do I know you? Lucas Mackey. Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. New names spread fast. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackey? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay. Maybe I'll catch you later. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. But I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. He's uh, He just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice, and old Zadok will fill your ears. Am I asking? Have you lived here in this port all your life? Less thirty-seven years in old Lady Warren's house. Before that, over by a fishing canary. Can a canary? Old Lady Warren's house? Go and fetch me a bottle of something to wet old Zidok's whistle, and I'll tell you all. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young fella. Here be a little something in gratitude that may help you in your search. Yeah. Now you be calling me crazy, like them that star rumor in an anchor in lip switch. But old Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. 
<clears throat> Old Captain Movid where his holes began. Telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that to answer their prayers. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, uh, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Uh, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and thirty of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were quiet. Till that artful night of 46, them's out outside reckon out it being a riot. But I'd seen them, swarms of them. Look, old man, I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Oh, psst. was a massacre. The jail thrown open. Mounds of the dead and the dying. <gasps> Shooting and screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy as strangers if we were known what was good to us. Sadok, who did all this? Who did all this? Said the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Obed told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. What the hell are these oaths? You just asked old Wes about oaths of Dagon. I, he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. Mr. Walters, I must speak with you. It's Jack. And is there anyone in Innsmouth who doesn't know my name? My name's Rebecca Lawrence. And unless you want to join Innsmouth's long list of missing, I'd urge you to follow me. Missing, huh? Like Burnham? Of that, I'm not sure. You'd be better off asking the Billingham's daughter, Ruth. She was dating Brian. What? Who's Ruth? Quickly, you have to follow me. It's not wise to be seen talking to outsiders. Jack, Innsmouth is a strange place. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, reeking things. Strange. Trust me, I'm good with strange. That remains to be seen, but I can help you. My father discovered this strange sign while studying an old manuscript. It seems to ward off the more unusual elements in Innsmouth. Whenever you find one, you can use it to find a moment of sanctuary. Now, I must leave before we're seen together. I've seen that eye-like symbol somewhere before, but never surrounded by a star. Hello, Mackie. Jack, swell to see you again. Any leads on the Burnham case? Nope. Did you know the lad at all? Just pleasantries. Seemed a nice enough fella, if a little rough around the edges. Strange business, though. I'd never have fingered him as a crook. The First National was a well-run store. A rare thing here in Innsmouth. Okay, Mackie. Thanks. Goodbye, Jack. Be careful what you're doing. Very careful. Innsmouth's a dangerous place. Not everyone who visits here ends up leaving by the old bus route. This Mackie character knows plenty. But I don't think grilling him for scraps of information is gonna crack this case. We can't be seen talking together. What is it? Why do you stay in Innsmouth, Rebecca? My grandfather, John Lawrence, was editor of the Innsmouth Courier. He was murdered in the slaughter of 46. 
He had always despised the marshes and their blasphemous doings, and it was he who led the party out to the reef that night. They arrested Captain Marsh and his order, and tossed them in the old jailhouse. A few weeks later, my grandfather was dead. My father saw him die. Him and many others burned alive in the courier's basement. All the more grounds to leave. To leave would be to fail my own legacy. I have a duty to protect the good in Innsmouth. At least what little good remains. Me constable, Jack Walters. Ah, uh, ropes. Elliot ropes. What you want? Could you help out a stranger to this fine port? Are you being funny? No, not at all. I'm looking for a Brian Burnham. He works locally, in the First National Grocery Store. Innsmouth don't take too kindly to them from out of town. Get lost, stranger. What are you looking at there, old-timer? Nothing. I'm just looking. What you doing in old Warren's house, young feller? This hole is for the bloke and the dying. I'm trying to find Dock Street. It's out back of the house. Everything in Innsmouth is rotten and dying. Windows boarded up, and all sorts of curious barking and crawling around black cellars and attics. How'd you like to be living in a town like this, feller? I've been to more welcoming places. I don't think... Hello there, little lady. Hi, sir. Are your parents at home? Daddy's at work, and Mommy's upstairs, in the attic. She's been bad. I see. So, what's your name, little lady? Ramona. Well, Ramona, could you get your Mommy for me? Nope. Mommy bites. Daddy says we've got to keep her up there for her own good. Excuse me? When I go near the door, she growls. I don't love Mommy like I love my Daddy. You don't say. Ramona, I really need to speak to your daddy. Do you know when he'll be home? Soon, I think. You can wait inside if you like. Daddy won't mind. I'm drawing pictures with my crayons. That would be great. Thanks. I should check the place over while I've got the chance. Oh, God. No. They've taken the last thing I loved away from me. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was up there. What the hell was that thing? There's no time to explain. They'll be here soon. Listen to me closely. You've been the talk of the town all day, asking after the Burnham lad. I heard he never made it to Boston, that he was caught by the Order of Dagon. Did he pocket anything from the store's safe? Thankfully, no. It's sturdy. He'd never have wrenched it open with a crowbar. There's something in there that needs protecting from the Order. You've got to get it out of Innsmouth. Take the key to the back of my store. The safe combinations in my diary, upstairs. Hurry, Jack! What the hell's in the safe, anyway? You've gone too far this time, wait. We're taking you in for murder. You'll swing for this. Wait, he didn't do anything wrong. He killed his own daughter. His own flesh and blood. There's plenty wrong with that. I'm reckoning you do well to mind your own business, stranger. And ends must we handle things by the old ways.
Jack. Oh, thank God I found you. Waite's been arrested for the murder of his daughter. I know. It's my fault, Rebecca. What are you talking about, Jack? What's your fault? There was something in the attic. Some kind of animal, and I let it loose. It's all my fault. The police dragged Waits off. He can't take the fall for this. He's done nothing wrong. We gotta do something. Guilty or not, the Order will see him lynched for it. There's nothing you can do. Oh, you must have taken quite a bang in there, Jack. Your head's bleeding. Yeah. I think I was out of it for a little while. I see you've got some bandages. Use them on your head. It'll help you heal. You're not losing too much blood. You won't need a suture. Thanks, Rebecca. You don't look like your standard crook, sweetheart. Jesus, you crazy sap! Who the hell are you? Jack Walters, private detective. And considering your recent break in and entering, how about I ask the questions? Have you any idea who I am? No, and I really don't care. My family has influential contacts in the Order, so I'd advise you to mind your manners, sir. <laughs> I'm from out of town. The Order doesn't hold much sway with me. Really? Out of town, you say? How interesting. I'm Ruth. Ruth Billingham. Huh. You're Brian's broad. That figures. Brian? Uh, I don't believe I know a Brian. Yeah, right. I've been fed that line a thousand times, and for much better liars than you. Look, Ruth, the rumor around town is that your lover boy is in the hands of the Order. What? No, that's not true. They'll have him killed. It was all my idea. I just wanted a clean break from here. What do you want me to do? I don't know. You're the detective. You think of something. I'll be waiting out at the old fishing cannery the next two nights, just past the abandoned railway station to Rowley. When you find him, give him this. He'll know it's from me. Will you be leaving soon? This bus ain't going nowhere to Lightfella. Engine's blown to shit. Have to wait till morning. Damn. Is there another bus out of Innsmouth? No, but there's a hotel behind it. Gilman will have board for the night. The bus has been delayed till morning. Is it, sir? That's an awful shame. Do you have board for the night? We've plenty on the top floor of the house. Nice views over the town, I'm told. Great. That, that sounds just swell. Hey, uh, you all right there, sir? Starting to look kind of funny there for a while. Face as white as bone and eyes as black as coal. Like you'd seen a ghost or something. Fine, thanks. It's just the sea air around these parts. It makes me queasy. The Innsmouth's breeze is not for your outsiders. Charlie, can you come with me? I need to be telling you something. Perfectly. Excuse me, sir. The Innsmouth law doesn't like to be kept hanging about. I'll be right back with you shortly. Just follow me, sir. I'll show you to your lodgings. I heard there was a killing over the old Waits' house tonight. They reckon the old fool killed his own daughter. Caked head to toe in her blood, they says. You're still looking pallid, sir. You're needing to have yourself some rest. Sleep well, and keep down the racket. Us Innsmouth are... Quiet fog. The great city of Nakotas. 
rest now, Jack. You are safe. What was in the light, Jack? Where do you want to go? We are your history, Jack, and your future. I don't understand. You will, in time. Dillman, where have you put the outsider? Top of the house, room 401. Come on, let's have it. friend is dead. Jesus Christ, no! You're a fool, Willy! <sighs> Told you it wasn't safe in there. <sighs> Look, fella, I know you're upset, but I really need some help. Ah, you're the outsider they're hunting tonight. You don't have a hope, stranger. The Order's mob will be everywhere you turn. Down the sewers is the only place that them folks balk at venturing. And for good cause at that, mind you. I can cope with foul air. It'll be a change from the stink of dead fish. You're not getting my meaning, stranger. There's rumor of real horrors in the black dankness beneath these streets. Maybe the folk with the taint are devils. But at least they're devils of this earth. You ever hear tell of a shaggoth, stranger? Just tell me where I can get into the sores. Alright. You've been warned. Just the other side of this here building is a road leading down to the filtration plant. There's an open sewer pit down there. Good luck, stranger. Jack! You're alive. Thank God. Just barely. The Order has got half this blasted town on my heels. I warned you, Jack. I told you the Order wouldn't stand Save it, sweetheart. You found anything more on Brian? He never made it out of town. The Order has him holed up in the old jailhouse until he's needed. Needed? Needed for what? Sacrifice, Jack. To Dagon, they'll take him out to Devil's Reef, and he'll never be seen again. Dagon? Sacrifice? This is crazy talk. Innsmouth's old fishing tales have muddled your mind. But mm, I don't want another death on my conscience. Where's this jailhouse? It's out the back of the Merchant's Bank, just past the old water tower. We'd better keep off the streets. The tainted are roaming everywhere. There's a secret crypt under the church that leads out to someplace safe. We can use that. My father built it when he was minister. Okay, get your father and let's go. I can't. I mean, he wouldn't pledge himself to Dagon. He called it blasphemy. The Order found him and... and... Jeez. I'm sorry, Rebecca. Did your father ever show you how to get into this crypt? No. But he gave me this. I think it'll help. Ouch! Found us! We have to leave now! <gasps> the church is this way! Right, Follow me! Right. Mackie, have you been tailing me? You could say that. Drop me a line next time Start you're planning on taking the stealthy approach. I'll watch and take notes. Funny. I don't get it, Mackie. What's your angle on all of this? I already told you. I work for the government. I've got friends at the top. Friends who've invested a lot of time and dough in Innsmouth. They don't want to see their investigation set back by some private op turning up the heat with some mindless caper. If you mean the Burnham boy, they're gonna kill him, Mackie. You know it and I know it. I can't let that happen. You're not thinking of breaking him out. He's just a punk, Jack. Where's the jailhouse, Mackie? Very well. It's your funeral. 
The window over there to your left looks over the jail back alley. See you around, Mackie. Yeah? Are you Burnham? Yes. What do you want? I'm gonna break you out of this joint. The name's Jack Walters. I'm a private detective. Why should I trust you? Ruth Billingham gave me this. What? This is the photograph I gave her before. Bef oh, damn. I've been so foolish. If Ruth trusts you, Jack, then so do I. Please, hurry and get this door open. The garage on the main street holds an old automobile. I know. It should be able to get us clear of town. Should be able to? If we can just make it through the patrols. Lead the way, Jack. Congratulations on your new promotion to Innsmouth's enemy number one. Thanks. Shut your trap, Maggie. You're not a factory inspector. Who do you work for? Okay, detective. I'll come clean. I'm an undercover agent for the United States Treasury Department. We've been working closely with the FBI on a secret investigation of Innsmouth. I'm the inside man. Really? What have you been able to find out? The Innsmouth look, Jack. It's at the heart of the problems in this town. More than half the population must be infected by now. The spreading of that contagion, or whatever the hell you want to call it, is the key. I just know it. This is all very interesting, fellas, but we gotta get out of Innsmouth with Ruth. She's waiting for us at some old fishing cannery, just past the station to Rowley. Listen, Jack, there are some agents watching the road not far past that spot. If you can make it there, you'll be safely picked up. I need you to do something for me. You can do it while I get this thing started. When they arrested me, they took a brooch I was carrying. It belonged to Ruth. It carries her picture inside. I won't leave it behind. Are you crazy? We don't have time for this. They'll be holding it in the jail office safe. I don't know the combination. I overheard Ropes talking to one of the other guards. He said something about an important date. And someone called Captain Obed Marsh. If you want to get in through the back door, just knock, and I'll open it for you. Ruth, what the hell are you doing up there? I must have been followed. They stormed inside just moments ago. There was gunfire outside. I only just managed to climb up here, and threw the ladder down to escape. I'm trapped up here, Jack. The door's padlocked, and this ledge isn't going to hold for much longer. I don't want to die, Jack. Help me! Keep back! I'll figure something out. I can hear something. Red out! He's around here somewhere! Look everywhere! Get out! Outsider, show yourself! Shut up, we gotta shut up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Red out! Look everywhere! Get out! Brian's meeting us out back. I'll never be able to make it across the rafters. You'll have to get that door open. Don't let it get away! Come on, Ruth. Hurry the hell up! There's a bridge out of town not far from here. Just hold on! Did I ask for your damn opinion? Remember who funds this damn nuthouse. Very well.
He's awake. Ah, Mr. Walters. Our friends in the Boston PD hold you up as quite the hero. Before you went all screwy, that is. I don't like heroes, Mr. Walters. And I don't care for your opinions, whoever the hell you are. J. Edgar Hoover, from the Bureau. And considering your position, Mr. Walters, you best mind your manners. Now, what was your business in Innsmouth? Just stopping in on some broad. I was feeling down on my luck. Needed the company. Ah, bullshit. There are only two types of folks that visit Innsmouth. Criminals and fools. And you don't seem like a fool. Appearances can be deceptive. I see. Dr. Hardstrom, if you'd be so kind. Wake him up. Just charge me with something, cause I don't know nothing. This is not gonna stop, Mr. Walters. So you may as well level with me. I already told you. It was nothing. A missing person case, and I needed the dough. I was only checked in for one night, and I had to blow the joint in the early hours. Seems the locals didn't take kindly to my snooping. For Christ's sake, Walters! Is it normal in your line of work to break a punk out of the can, then breeze out of town in a stolen car? Only on the good days. But not normally, no. I've had a shitty night, Hoover, so I'd really appreciate you cutting me some slack. What's the Bureau's beef with Innsmouth, anyway? Widespread criminal activity, Mr. Walters. And half the damn town's involved. Our government's never had to handle something on this scale before. But they won't sanction a full-scale operation without more evidence. Well, I appreciate the bedtime story. I don't see where I come into this. Thanks to your meddling, Mackie's gone missing. And he was close to something. Something we could use. Missing? What do you mean, missing? He was supposed to check in hours ago. Our plans have now changed. You'll be accompanying us back into Innsmouth, Mr. Walters, on a small-scale raid. Our target? The Marsh Refinery. <clears throat> I'm not your lapdog, Hoover. I don't work for the Bureau. I'm not in the business of making requests, Mr. Walters. Or have you forgotten your past so quickly? A signature here, a signature there, and we can make you a permanent fixture of this delightful establishment. I could even arrange for you to have your old room back. Fuck you. Good night, Mr. Walters. Pleasant dreams. shows that you're a man to be trusted, even allowing for your stint in the nuthouse. I've packed you with armaments. I demand your complete cooperation. 
Our reconnaissance reports have confirmed Sebastian Marsh, the manager of the refinery, will be out of town on business. He's left his son Jacob in charge of operations. We won't get a better chance to launch this raid. Our mission is to capture Jacob Marsh. He may be our only chance to get under the skin of the Marsh family. We must secure him alive. Even with Sebastian away, we expect the refinery to be heavily guarded. I'll fill you in with more details when we have breached the main doors. Jack, you better stay in the car while my agents secure the entrance. Get in your positions, agents! Keep sight of the loading bay! On the roof! Sustain your fire! Get those damn doors open! No, wait! Too bad! Take cover! Get clear of the car, Jack! Now! Shot. For God's sake, Hoover, get your men out of there. They're sitting ducks. Nonsense. We'll lay down some covering fire. You get your ass up there and show us what you can do. What? You heard me. Now go! Check reception. It's locked, sir. Break it down. Then secure the area. I want Marsh alive. Everything else is a viable target. Fall out. Understood, sir. What's the plan? I want to know where the hell they're getting all this gold. Come on, let's take a look around. My fullest gratitude, Walters. You'd make a first-rate agent. Too bad you got that stinking attitude. A lousy night of torture can really grate on a man's mood. If your aim was as sharp as your wit, then Marsh wouldn't have gotten away. Your orders were to take him alive, not blow his brains out. That was before the crazy psychopath tried to kill me. Besides, he left his briefcase by the controls. There's probably enough evidence in there to sanction a full-scale raid. So I couldn't care less if you bring him back in small boxes. Just get the bastard! Mr. Walters, I see you made it at last. Seems Marsh managed to give you the slip. Fortunately, we had him picked up as he tried to flee. The Order of Dagon will make you pay for this, Hoover! I am Cthulhu! I am Dagon! Get this ugly bastard out of my face, Agent Hopper. Yes, sir. Come on, Marsh. Move it. Hoover! You gotta evacuate the building! There's something down there! All in good time. We found a key in Marsh's possession. A key he was most reluctant to give up. It must have been for the elevator panel, giving access to an additional floor at the very foundation of this refinery. 
All my agents are busy planting explosives to flatten this place to the ground. I want you to find a way down there and check it out. Not a chance. I already told you, there's something down there. I barely got out alive. I made it clear back at the asylum, Mr. Walters. I don't make requests. Okay, but I'll be needing another gun. Is that you? Oh. Mackie, where do they keep the keys to the cells? I don't know for sure. Probably somewhere up in the main hall. What the blazes is going on? A few hours ago, the government sanctioned a full-scale operation into Innsmouth. It seems you were right about the contagion. I knew it. Why the delayed assault on the order? We have to arrest Robert Marsh now. They can't breach the doors. Anyone who gets close is driven mad. The guards were discussing some mural that Robert Marsh had etched onto the main doors. They said it was powered by a sacred ceremony to the old ones. Whatever the hell that means. We have to stop that ceremony. Sit tight, Maggie. I'll be right back. Well done, Jack. Did you find the ceremony? Not exactly. I think it's being held in some underground chamber. A great stone disc is covering the entrance away. I'm gonna need your help to get inside. I'll need a gun. No problem. It didn't take much detective work to figure out who this belongs to. First rate work, Jack. Let's go. Jack, our friends in the FBI have been putting the screws on some of the locals. They're a crazy bunch, but all evidence points to a stronghold somewhere below Devil's Reef. Just 20 minutes ago, we lost contact with the sub that was patrolling those waters. Thank you, Officer Winter. Their last communication was just some garbled message about an underwater city. We've got to make our way to the reef and find this stronghold. The old smuggling tunnels that lead below the seabed will be our best option. Look, I appreciate you pulling me aboard, but what you're talking about sounds like suicide. Nonsense. Lieutenant, let's plan the landing in my office. It's a good job we spotted you. The waters around these parts are no place for swimming. How are you holding up, Hanson? Listen, Jack. I've been to a lot of places, and I've seen a lot of screwy shit. But there ain't nothing that's ever been standing once this baby... Man, what the hell was that? Johnson! Wait! Oh stay away from the side! strange footprints they left in their wake, consisting of five circular toe marks. They were blind, yet had exceptional sensitivity to both motion and sound. In battle, these creatures could harness the power of the winds with terrifying precision. It wasn't until the great energy weapon was developed that we had the means to fight their evil. Then we were able to drive them down.
deep into the catacombs beneath their basalt towers, sealing all routes with impenetrable trapdoors. better chance of survival if they don't know I'm here. Well, well, what do we have here? I don't believe you have an invitation to our little party. Just check the guest list. I'm under the section for fellas that ain't ugly freaks. Throw our jester friend here in with the lab rats. I'll deal with him on a more intimate level later. Improve the security levels. Check the area. Make sure he's alone. <clears throat> The Lord is our shot and shield. The outsiders have not been able to roster the barrier. Mother Song is bolted. There are many blighting and trail. Excellent. Dismissed. What the hell do you think you're doing, Robert? We're in the middle of an invasion, and you've got our order singing hymns! You're a fool, Sebastian. I command the Order of Dagon, not you. The research must be protected at all costs! I've shut the lab down, Sebastian. What?! This is madness! Can't you see how far Hester's come?! Your trivial experiments are of no concern to me. All energies must be directed at completing the translation of the tablets. The work of my great-grandfather must be finished. Take your worthless body back to shore. You are of no further use to the Order. That's not going to happen, Robert! Your help. I have to get into the temple. 
Only those loyal to the Order have access through the main doors. But there's an old passage. A passage that runs deep beneath the temple. Though I warn you now, outsider, tread cautiously. Uh, I've heard talk of ancient dwellers <coughs> play in those dark depths. <coughs> An evil from a forgotten time. This just keeps getting better. So how do I get down there? Explore the abandoned areas. <coughs> that is all I can tell you. <coughs> now, please, kill me and my pain. Kuen and Kugna, Anu Nayemna, Bagliz Kafungan, Kathava Hell, Kulf Kafuga Kafungi, Aya Raigazengaro, Aya Hydra. now. They are still down there, Jack. Thriving in the darkness. They are plotting. Plotting to break free of their bonds and wreak a terrible revenge. The end is inevitable. And close. Very close. How much time do we have? What the hell was that?
Mr. Walters? Mr. Walters, can you hear me? Mr. Walters? He's convulsing. We're losing him. Now, in my end, I can fully see. My last case opened to me a new fear. A real fear. A fear of myself. Of what I am. And what I've always been. All that I was. Is now lost. Home. Purpose. Pleasure. All meaningless. I now walk in the shadows between worlds. And it is there that I finally glimpsed upon what lives in the dark corners of the earth. 